Ever wondered how much time you spend on Microsoft Teams? Until now, there was no way that you could easily uh, digest the data that Microsoft Teams sends out to the database uh, based on your usage. Now, there is a connector called Microsoft Teams Usage. It's, it's still in beta, but you can use it, connect it to Power BI, and then showcase the usage of your Microsoft Teams teams and channels and your also uh, your personal usage. Stick around and uh, take a look at this new video around Microsoft Teams and Power BI. And if you like it, give it a thumbs up. Hi, welcome back. So this one will be a short video. I just want to showcase you the newly uh, release feature from Microsoft called um, yeah, View Microsoft Teams Utilization Power BI Uses CQD Data. Um, I mean, this has already been around. The data has always been in, in, in CQD to view, but there is a new connector for Power BI, which allows you to easily connect to your, um, to your uh, Teams usage data. And um, yeah, and then, then create your own report based on that data. So um, yeah, as you can see here, there's uh, different visuals that you can build based on that data, um, based on the usage and so on, daily usage, um, Teams usage, channel usage, one-to-one um, -one calls, conference, video sharing, and so on and so forth. We, we will see all that in, the, in Power BI when we, when we pull the data. Um, I will try to remember to link you this, this uh, documentation from Microsoft in the video description. So um, let's jump to Power BI. So here we are in Power BI. First of all, we have to call the data. So let's select get data, then more. And in a second, we should be able to see the get data window. And if we search for Microsoft, we can see here Microsoft Teams personal analytics beta. And that's the one we are going to use today. So select that and click connect. So as you can see here, we have Teams usage, uh, Teams usage summary, and Teams user activity. So the team, we are going to select all three of them so that we can take a look on what's inside. Um, let's go and click transform data so we can see the data set that we are getting. And yeah, as you can see on the left-hand side, we have three queries. And the first one is called Teams uh, usage. We can see here the team ID and the team name. Uh, I'm connected to my work uh, account since my private one or the, the one I do the testings. Um, I don't have any data to show you. So I have connected to that uh, to my work account. And uh, hopefully it's nothing um, that I'm not allowed to show you. So yeah, if, if that's the case, I will uh, try to remember to hide it. So as you can see here, Teams ID uh, or Team ID and Team Name uh, Privacy is one or two, I think if it's private or not. So here we have the date also as well of that uh, activity. And um, here's the usage. Uh, we have here post messages, reply message all zero, since I haven't been active on that team at all. And uh, messages in the channel, the guests of that channel or the team, um, the mentions, reactions, so on, it's all almost zero. And if you scroll down, there are also different teams there where I have not been participating at all. <laughs> and we have uh, a Teams usage summary as well. Here are the different teams that have joined uh, with the, their respective team ID. And the privacy uh, one is for yes and zero is for no, I imagine. So zero should be uh, being not private and one is for being private. And um, here's a start date and the end date. I think this is the date when um, I joined. Uh, I'm not sure about that, but that, that should be because the end date is the last day where I was um, yeah, using one of these teams, which is um, the, the 10th of the 6th, 10th of June, which is on Thursday. Yeah, might, might be correct. Anyways, um, this will differ for each and one of you. So it doesn't matter actually, uh, but you can use them to, I don't know, showcase the usage base and date. 
Then we have the active users for each team and the active users for, for the, the, the active channels and also the messages that are posted in each of those um, um, teams. And then the, the reply messages, meetings organized, I haven't done any of that, um, reactions, mentions, channel messages, and so on. Um, yeah, I have to say that I joined the company around this date, so I have not, um, I don't have that much of data yet. Probably one of my oldest colleagues uh, should, should see something completely different here. And uh, last but not least, we have the team's uh, user activity, which is based on, on me. And we can see that um, the date when I started using uh, Teams, and this is my user ID, with, which ends with EC427. And I have checked in my, um, if, you, if you go to the Graph Explorer and do a get request to uh, my profile, we can see here that that's my user ID, EC427. Just to verify if that's me or not, and you can see it here as well. Yeah, so you can see here also the channel channel messages that I've been posting um, here and there. Are some one here, two, four, and so on. Um, the reply messages uh, that I've received as well. The post messages, chat messages, urgent mes messages, and so on and so forth. And um, we can see here the ad hoc meetings organized, the ones that you can just click. Um, on the channel and uh, start a meeting and this is the uh, scheduled ones and if you scroll to the right we have some more data here we can see the participated scheduled meetings and the ones I've been invited to these are one-to-one -one calls um, for yeah person person so not not group calls not conferences um, we have here also the audio time which is measured in seconds and we can see here how many seconds I've spent each time and also the video time if this is the same this has been an audio and video call i imagine so here for example it's for the same call of course uh, i've spent um, 7000 seconds uh, talking and uh, 4400 of those i've also had my video turned on and um, the, here's also screen sharing time so we can see here how much time i've spent sharing my screen um, in this call, I haven't shared my screen at all. Here, I didn't turn video on at all and didn't share my screen. Here was video and audio the whole time, but no screen sharing and so on, which is pretty interesting, actually. And um, yeah, that's, that's, that's it here for that data. And all other activities, zero and one. Um, I'm not sure what other activity means, but um, yeah, if you know, just leave it in the comments. This is all pretty new to me. Yeah, so um, I'm not going to start building any visualizations uh, based on this because, first of all, each each and one of you has different needs. You either know how to use Power BI or don't. So if you don't know how to use Power BI, I don't think you will start with this data set. So uh, go on and learn how to use Power BI and then uh, start building visualizations with uh, your team's usage data. So for the ones who know to how to use Power BI, don't need to, um, me to show them how to put the visualizations uh, with this data, since this will differ for each and one of you. Um, yeah, so that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I think it's a pretty cool uh, new feature. And um, yeah, looking forward to uh, more to come. So thanks for watching. See you next time.